goodness we're moving past model numbers for that. Take a look at the back here of the S8300, the Ultra Touch. You can see this is a slider, but instead of having the normal notched look where it's a little bit thicker around the camera, the entire thing fits in tightly. It's a very, very rich look design. I mean, very smooth on the back and then it continues even when you extend the slider. Again, an OLED display, really beautiful to look at. Widgets. Some really nice looking stuff on this. The keypad is flat, but has a reasonable amount of tactile feedback on it. Keys in general up here feel nice, with X button in the center. Volume on the left hand side. USB camera and the lock button on the right. Let's see, we'll lock it here. Now the device is all locked. So that's Samsung's uh, S8300 Ultra Touch. New 8 megapixel camera. Yeah, it's card. a half on got the slide out keyboard. It's Michael Orr from Mobile Burn. We're here at That's Barcelona's Mobile World gentle, Congress 2009. Touch modernity in the US. The widgets are just app, uh, activating um, any like an application on the device, like Bluetooth and the calendar. Right. So that's how the widgets work. But in the new ones, Touch with 1.5, they're actually going to be online widgets. So you can drag this over and do a Google search right from your home screen. So right. no starting the browser or whatever. And then the next generation after that is with the widget store. And then the third generation, or what we call TouchWiz 2.0, is this, is this side scroll. Can you launch yeah. a widget from the tray? So uh, it did, we can, like the Eternity. I've, I've um, seen it on other devices. Can, you can launch it right from the tray and then Verizon uh, with the Omnia, you can't. So it's just a, a minor detail of the UI implementation. Um, it just depends on what the operator expresses a preference for.